Alright, one thing I like to do is show you guys how to find the x and y intercept. Thank you. So, to find the x and y intercept, um, so far I've been showing you guys so many times, just plug y for 0 and x equals 0. Let me go and show you graphically really quick why that's true. Actually, first of all, let me work backwards. We're going to do some more of this plotting points. For those of you that are new to this, you remember you have a number line, right? The number line has 0. 1, 2, 3. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Right? Yep. You guys remember this. While back. Very easy stuff. Now, when we're doing graphing, now what we're doing is we're creating two number lines. And this is called 0, 0. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Is that confusing or not confusing? Not confusing. Not confusing. It is. Very good. Very much so therefore, very much you notice, <laughs> if you're going to look at this, now what we call this number line is our x number line, or our x axis. So left to right. This is our y number line, or our y axis. Now here's the point I want to make to you. If I'm calling this the y axis, what is my x value? How far left to right am I moving on this y, val on this y axis? What is my x value? Zero. 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 So on this, when your y-intercept, so when I say I want to find the y-intercept, I know that x equals zero. And now, when I want to find the x-intercept, where does it, cr on this line, what is my y-value? And my y-value, again, is zero. Because if I have a point on this line, it does not go up or down. So the uh, x-intercept, y equals zero. So to solve this problem, if I want to find the y-intercept, I just plug 0 in for x, so I have 5 minus y equals a negative 3 times 0. y equals 0, I have 5 minus 0 equals a negative 3x. Okay? Now it's just going to get back to your simple math. This goes out to 0, 5 minus y equals 0. So you guys got to think, well, how am I going to get my y by itself? Remember when we're solving for equations, we're solving for variables, we want to get the y value positive and by itself. Well, I can simply just add the y to both sides. And I get y equals 5. Over here, 5 minus 0 is 5. Then you say, all right, well, what's happening to the x? What is happening to my variable that's preventing it from being by itself? And you say, well, it's being multiplied by negative 3. So I'm going to do our inverse operations, going back a couple of weeks ago, a long time ago. You do the um, division property of equality with negative 3. Therefore, x equals a negative 5 thirds. So now, if I was going to go ahead and write my problem, um, sorry, there for a second. Um, if I was going to go ahead and write my problem, I want to say, all right, well, my y-intercept is when y equals 5, or 5. And my x-intercept is when x equals negative 5 thirds, which would be 1 and 2 thirds right there. So now I can simply go ahead and connect my two points. And now if I write this into point form, this is a negative 5 thirds comma 0. And this point is 0 comma 5. So it's important to understand what the intercepts are and then also to understand them as points. Okay? And just a real quick, why, did I, why was this one in front and this one's behind? Because when we're writing a point, we write it as x, y. Your x coordinate goes first, and then your y coordinate goes second. All right? So that's how you find the x and y intercept of a given equation.